Cancer singles, welcome. Your singles read Meet the Soulmate. This is for November, the month of November. My biggest read of the month here. I've uh, pre shuffled. Thank you for joining me. The new Casa. Hopefully, it's a new setting that everyone will find more enjoyable than the past. Um, in Cancun, on the edge of it, what they call Central Park. And, you know, knock on wood, uh, nobody's uh, doing any uh, work around the house nearby. Uh, it's so peaceful here. It's amazing, the energy. It's like living in a, in a jungle. So, um, just really enjoying this space. And I find, like, a really relaxing, peaceful place to do these readings. Please do check out the below. I have a description, and I'll have a link to the Soul Family Read. That's a collective daily read for whoever resonates. It's more about spirituality, manifestation. Uh, this specifically is looking for the one that's right for you. It's always positive read because that's what it's asking. Spirit, who's the right one for cancers? Who's your soulmate? The one it's best for you to do your soul work with now. We're going to look at their emotional nature with the Emperor card. And that's over the Two of Pentacles. And we look at their intellectual nature. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcana. And that's over, wow, well, the Ace of Cups. So we'll also look at their sexual love nature, their core values and lifestyle. We call those the four pillars of a relationship. Um, emotionally is where I see the moon. Um, here in the intellect, we'll see the sun. Um, this looks to me like an Aries moon and a Sagittarius sun with the Wheel of Fortune. And, um, you know, with the Two of Pentacles under the Emperor, they had an okay, I read the childhood here, and that's always important to me. Uh, they, they had an okay childhood, uh, but a, a kind of strict childhood. A little rigid, uh, somehow, I think they'll tell you. Um, their parents, you know, it, it wasn't like a cult, but, um, you know, um, they ate dinner when they ate dinner, and that was it. Um, and you went to church, maybe, uh, and you have a choice about it, or um, this kind of thing. Um, it's kind of the sense of growing up, but they had a lot of structure and tradition here. And I get the sense too with this moon and with the Two of Pentacles, I think their moon's in the second house. So if you look at their natal chart and you know their time and you can see their houses, See if when you pull their natal chart, they don't have an Aries moon in the second house with the Sagittarius sun. Now, I don't know about the uh, house on that one. You know. They're likely to have a Mercury Scorpio, though, with this Ace of Cups. In the intellect, I often see Mercury and see the sun. Um, that's a cup. That would be Scorpio. You know, this uh, Wheel of Fortune is a little mysterious looking one. That is the Jupiter car. So I say that's Sag there. It's a lot of fire with this person, you know. Um, and I do think they're fairly well balanced. I don't think they're really traumatized from childhood. Um, it left them with a certain... I don't think it was bad for them at all with a certain sense of discipline. It might be due to their natal placements, you know. Maybe it left them uh, grounded. So I see them as being pretty grounded. Um, and having a real ability to understand things at more than just the intellectual uh, level. So emotionally, um, their Scorpio Mercury must have a lot of uh, power for them. Um, a lot of influence in their chart. Uh, because, so it'd be probably well aspected. Um, it's typically, you know, it's it's not uh, exalted there. It's uh, at fall, but um, it's someone that can uh, understand emotions. Uh, is has emotional intelligence or emotional availability. Um, 
emotional understanding this can translate into wisdom too you know and there's someone that's benefited I bet you uh, they will tell you a story they received a special scholarship um, they may have a very good mind too um, like I say they're kind of more grounded than you might think of as a, a air as a fire this much fire um, so they may have some kind of advanced degree I mean this kind of person they might even teach that kind of thing um, and I think that they just benefited uh, they may have benefited it more than one time they may have benefited a trust fund a person could have a trust fund they could have benefited from a you know favorable <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that's why I'm still behind on my readings they had a favorable uh, decision come down for them in terms of uh, uh, some kind of inheritance or something uh, maybe a scholarship I mean they well have won it as well uh, but it was something that um, so you could literally say about this person I think you may hear them say the words you know I am a lucky person I guess I'm a lucky person I guess my life has been lucky uh, and I think they would probably use the word lucky <laughs> It's my parents four pentacles this is their sexual energy where I see Venus here and also love so we see also Mars the queen of cups now you got a self a, a um, Scorpio Mars here Scorpio Mars yeah <laughs> uh, Capricorn Venus so this the earth in them is strong Venus probably strong in them too um, and that's what's helping them be stable you know I'm a Sagittarius and you, you think well they're, they're flighty and this lot of things but you know if you yoke a Sagittarius with love with, with something that we believe in um, they're the horse we put you put a plow to us and we'll keep pulling that field night day uh, really forever if, yeah, if you don't fuck us <laughs> um, so it could be that kind of energy when you have this Venus and Capricorn um, they really are going to want to pull for the and work uh, for the relationship here and with this kind of person uh, I don't see any reason why they'd be telling you stories about difficult exes the crazy Jerry Springer anything uh, because I think that they would probably be capable more capable of making a, a good decision about stepping in in uh, to relationships um, so the fact that they're single you know um, it'd be I, I, I can't really tell you the story there but it won't be a story about uh, it may be a story about infidelity done to them I don't really read that here but I'm just saying that it won't be uh, this kind of angst and drawn out and dramatic kind of thing. Uh, they grew apart, they, they died, um, um, you know, something like this. Um, and, you know, sexually, I just gotta say, I haven't said this in a while, this person's gonna be really good um, and they're gonna have a nice combination of fire and water, you know, with the, the, the uh, it, assuming you're monogamous and that's what you're looking for with this Venus and Capricorn the way they're built it's like they'll really want to direct that energy at you uh, as their soulmate um, and they have a very a, a, again for a fire sign you say well fire sign is not really emotional no this in Aries moon that's not emotional I mean the moon in Aries is not an emotional moon but this person is capable of uh, deep emotion I'll say this, you know, this uh, person, I see this quite a bit. Um, they're probably more emotional, more emotionally available, softer, and more vulnerable uh, with you as their lover than anyone else. And definitely, we'll see here with the work we'll see in the next column in their core values, but definitely more than they are, say, with their work. Nine of Pentacles, core values, lifestyle. Wow. Um, 
in the Ten of Wands, core values and lifestyle. I kind of read them together like that. You know, I look back at the Emperor when I see this Nine of Pentacles. It's kind of like the Junior Emperor. So, whatever they do, it's kind of practical. Um, they do a job. I keep this Venus and Capricorn. Um, they can do a job. They can come back to it. They, their job's probably tied up with their Venus. It's something they love to do. I am not saying that they're this or that. Um, they may work at an office job for 20 years or I, who knows. Um, but it's something concrete and solid um, that they put themselves into with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, they feel good about it. Um, they get a lot out of it. They're able to, they're not a poor person. This person is very mm, self contained. Self contained comes to mind. Yes, that's a good word self-contained which is unusual for sad i'm sad it's mutable fire what is mutable fire it's not self-contained it's the whatever's the opposite of self -contained. yes that's mutable fire you know self-contained be like fixed uh, virgo uh leo fixed fire see so um but they have this uh, way about them and they are willing to put a lot into their work you know and i think too in terms of their household um, they really like a nice place with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, like, this is the kind of person, I'm not saying it's a man, but let's say it was a man, a heterosexual man, if I can, am I allowed to say that? You know, a dude, he's the dude, you know, doesn't really, he's not fussy. You wouldn't think, right? Just a dude, you know? But you go to this person's house, and it's going to be neat and tiny and clean, kind of classy, and they're going to, like, fix it up. You know, it's, it's going to have... Uh, taste the it's decorum you know about it and you could kind of see where they put the effort into it and um, I think like if you ask the people at work you know it's like they might say something about this person like everyone knows how much effort this person puts into our work their work this work and I think you'll find exactly the same thing uh, in terms of the relationship and you. Uh, that's kind of how they'll approach the relationship, wanting to uh, just put that effort into it there. So I think that gives us a lot to go on here, guys. Um, we've got the Aries uh, moon, sad sun, um, Scorpio Mercury, Scorpio Mars, Capricorn Venus energy here, guys. So let me know what you think. This is a purely predictive reach. It's not really meant to describe someone's in your life. Someone's coming into your life. Someone new. The right person for you. Um, so you may see them pop up sometime in November. Would you just please get back to me? Give me a shout. Say, hey, Dave. Guess what? Found them. And do hit a like, thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Appreciate you subscribing.